Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we are going to talk about an AI tool which is solution for most of your writing stuff which you are going to do as a research scholar and I have been talking about this tool in my past few videos but here I'm going to share some more interesting features of it because this platform has been updated to a very useful and in a very innovative way. So let's talk about it. So this platform is answerthis.io in case if you are not aware about it, I have been explaining about it in my previous few videos. I will give you a link to reach out to this particular platform where you can use this platform for free and you can uh, take benefit of all the initial like uh, offerings which are given on this particular platform. So let's start with it. As you can see, uh, as soon as you open it, there is a very clean interface which gives you two basic options. One is for full review and one is a quick Q&A. So depending upon your need, in case if you are in need of writing article, you can go for full, full review. In case if you are just in need of uh, answering or getting answer of certain question, let's say you are doing some research and you have some research gap, you are thinking about something, you want to know about it, that also can be done now. Okay. So both those these things are over here and along with that, why this platform is so dependable or why you can rely on this platform because here the uh, like um, all these citations which you are going to get, they are actual research papers and they are not like what you get in chat GPT or an, on other AI platforms. So over here you are actually going to get actual paper cited for your work. So I'm going to show you. So today I'll be showing you the full review version of it. Okay. All you have to do is give a prompt uh, that on what topic you want a review and then select few features of it. For example, I want to uh, get a review on uh, like uh, write, uh, write a review on use of AI for uh, drug, um, drug delivery in medicinal chemistry. Okay. So let's give that and then if you press it, it is going to ask you some more questions uh, like different uh, things uh, like what are the sections you want, subsections you want, then how many citations you want on a paper which needs to be cited. So let's say that I want a paper which is at least cited four times and I want journal articles. I also want uh, review articles. I also want preprints. Okay. And then. Uh, you can just click if you want to take some uh, options from some patents or something and then publication dates. Okay, you can press the date like a uh, give a range of date on what to what date you want. So let's say the start date is let's say I'm taking something from previous five years. So I'm taking this. Uh, let's say yeah, so this date I'm taking and till today. Okay, and I will just submit my research. So this is going to take some time look upon your query properly and it is going to generate a response and we can do a lot of things with that response. I'll show you as you can see it is using answer this 2.0 model which is updated model uh, which is more refined. It is going to give you better results more uh, like precisely cited sources. So we will look upon that. Okay. Okay. So now you will see this is how the response has been generated. You will see that it has given an introduction to it. It has given different topic like headings to this and it is very well written. Not only that, it has cited a lot of research papers. You will see that uh, the citations are also inserted over here. And uh, if I take you just to the whole document, you will see that how well written it is. Okay. Now it is not that you can just copy and paste it, but if you want to make changes, you can do that as well. For example, I want to make certain changes in this particular section. You can just uh, do this and just say add to the notebook. Now, once you do that, it is going to take you to a particular notebook of yours. Okay. Let's say this is one of my old, old notebook, which I have created on this platform. I can just click on that and it is going to take this text and add to the notebook. In this case, if you are doing multiple searches and you want to create or you want to uh, like copy and paste a lot of data that you can generate and copy and paste them without losing them at the same time. Now, one thing which I want to uh, give you on the other side of the screen, which you see over here, these are the citations which have been cited. Now you see that these are not just the name of the research paper and the author's name and the years. Not only that, it also shows that this is a well cited paper 97 times it has been cited. And the abstract is also over here. So in that case, you will get to see 
that what exactly this uh, paper is about just from the abstract okay so this is for all the like uh, like papers research papers so there are 49 papers which have been cited in this particular work and there are various different things that you can do from here okay you can just uh, take this and you can just add this to a new notebook okay so let's say i'm adding to a new notebook so this is going to uh, open up a new notebook for me and here i can just copy and paste everything from here okay so what whatever has been generated i can just add to my notebook over here now once this is added to the notebook if you will see it not only copies the text but it also takes your citations over there okay so in that case your citations are not lost and let's say you are working you are not working alone on this paper let's say you are working on a certain section of this paper you want to ask some of your friend or you are working in a collaborative manner where you are working along with your friend and you want to share this paper with them or you want to share this part of the paper with them you can just press on the share and you can enter the email address to whomsoever you want to send okay and you can send the invitation so that person will get an invitation to open this particular notebook and they also will get to see that what work you are doing right now okay not only that there are other options as well for example you can reformat this uh, like this is this can reformat the whole document if you press it once it can reformat it in various different way okay you can keep pressing it and it can keep generating different different format of your notebook okay or whatever text you have given over here and you can export this uh, in different format and along with that you can also change that way how the citations are written so various different citation tools or various different cit citations method which we use in scientific writing for example APA if you click on that so all your citations are going to get converted in that uh, I want it to remain in IEEE I can even export this in different format so it shows like you can export it as a PDF you can export it as a document file which will open up in uh, ms word so that you can edit it uh, if you want to do that on your local computer so that is also possible over here yeah so this canvas features makes this whole idea of answer this much collaborative uh, environment where you can collaborate with different people and uh, do things all together secondly it makes things easy to work upon different uh, like if you are working on a very big project and you want to copy different sections from different articles that also can be done for example i have generated few things and i have copied over here let's say i need to know something more about key challenges and barrier of ai implementation let's say i want to talk about the in silico to experimental translational gap i can just copy that paste it again on answer this generate in q a method uh, get a detailed answer of that copy that and paste it over here so it makes it easy to arrange and manage your document it makes it easy to generate more in a more effective way so once you are done with it you can just simply save this so your document is saved you can just click on cross it just saves your document one more thing which i wanted to show you over here is that you can also export your citations so let's say the content is fine but you want to export the citations we generally use two major tools for managing our citations right like when we are doing it manually or when we are doing it in a traditional method one is uh, zotero and other one is monterey right so you can export your citations actually so all your citations are over here if you press on this export button it says like it gives you option to export it in different ways you can export in common uh, comma separated uh, like values or you can export to zotero directly or export to mendeley directly so this makes this whole feature of uh, managing the citations also pretty easy and uh, this is a revolutionary thing which i believe for especially for research scientists who want to write stuff and need assistance in that so you can try it out the link is there in the description of this video you can try it for free using that link uh, you can also make a purchase for the professional version of answer this .io. the uh, like the discount code is on the screen you can use that code to get 10 percent discount while making a purchase and uh, that's it from my side for this particular video i just wanted to uh, let you guys introduce you guys with the canvas feature of answer this platform i hope you guys will like it and you will utilize it for your own scientific writing so that's it from my side for this video thank you so much see you in the next one take care bye bye